sticks and gloves. Put the gloves on the sticks. And put them on the clock. Lives locally. Back in 1980, her husband Timothy was studying the history of astronomy. The observatory was their dream wedding venue. Snowing? Mm -hmm. Are you late to Sunday? Mm -hmm. Very cold. Mm -hmm. We were married in the morning, so it was still kind of dim and cloudy. And it was a beautiful building at the time, and um, it was warm and cozy inside. Like many of the city's residents, this building holds a special place in their hearts, which makes its demise all the more upsetting. I kind of feel like it didn't have to be this way. Things do fall apart, but um, vandalism is particularly heartbreaking to me. It was very different than it is now. The room had um, a large brass rail in the middle. Along the walls were murals. Notably, astronomers, um, mm -hmm. Ruth Galileo, Copernicus, as I recall. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of woodwork. <laughs> it had a very pleasurous mm -hmm. feel to it. The observatory was first opened in the 1920s. The story of its conception dates back four decades earlier when two men, Wooster Reed Warner, and Ambrose Swayze decided to go into business. So in 1880, Cleveland was one of the most important iron making centers in the United States. The Warner and Swayze company quickly became a See? leading manufacturer mm -hmm. of precision tools and machine instruments. Mm -hmm. But it was with their telescopes that they managed to change the world. Mm -hmm. They weren't academics. They weren't scientists, and they certainly weren't astronomers. They were just two passionate individuals who desperately wanted to know more about what's out there beyond Earth. The successful businessmen were also keen philanthropists and tried to put their wealth to good use. Looking up at the stars on a clear night was their shared passion. But they wanted it to be so much more than just a hobby. This is the Warner and Swayze Observatory, named after the two men that funded its construction. For many years, this is where students from Case, what is now Case West Reserve University did astronomical observations. Uh, it was a prime, prime site. John Grabowski is a historian at Case Western University today. As a Cleveland native, he understands the oh, importance yes. of the observatory to the local community. This site is, is really, it's a landmark in the city's history because it links to several things. One, it, it links to the rise of, of science and astronomy in Cleveland, and that really links yes, to the creation of the Case School of Applied Science in 1881. See, I do. Yes, the telescope Warner and Swayze made for this observatory was a nine and a half inch refractor telescope. 
1920, when this telescope was installed, wasn't really on the cutting edge. There were much larger telescopes in use in other parts see? of the world. And see you next time, Judge George. But we are now in the, uh, yep. the dome room for the uh, first telescope that was 